Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stenow with tonight's Deep Dive. It is January 31st, 2018. Had a client uh, ask a question about cotton today, so I thought I would address it here in the, uh, the Deep Dive. The ETF on the long side is BAL. We've got short, intermediate, and long-term trends still pointing to the upside, despite the sell-off that we've been having over the last, uh, say, five um, major trading days. Uh, we have also, with cotton, uh, kind of a, a bias to the upside with the technical rating, which is still underway, and we have a seasonal tendency, which is uh, pointed higher. Now, the sell-off today, the sell-off that we've had over the last five, six trading days, uh, has generated a pivot low in our elastic level. Now, this is one that is generally an early warning signal, but not something that we would react to, uh, given the fact that we're short the market with the systems. So I'll just simply show you this, that the, the systems are uh, uh, two short-term systems. They're short, and they're only 120 minutes and 120 minutes here. Uh, one's been short since the 12th, the other one the, the 25th of, uh, of January. So so if we take a look at the market here inside of TradeStation, these are daily bars. Uh, here is the 12th, uh, this bar, this big bar right there. The market, uh, we went short. The market did, in fact, rally. And then here on this bar right through here, uh, we had another shorting position. And ever since then, the market has been selling off. Now, right now, we're toying with the the lows having hit the 50-day uh, the moving average. And that's where the market uh, obviously stopped. And we're going to see how it reacts acts with the the moving average along with the support levels that are over here. I'll give you these numbers. 77, 76 for one level, which is the stronger of the two, and then the other one is 77.29. So as of uh, this recording, we've got uh, the uh, the market at 77.28. Now, if we're not able to hold and stay in and around those levels I just gave to you, the market could sell off to this level, which is a 50, which is a strong one, uh, and that particular level is 75.41. So we're watching things. This is an early warning uh, scenario. It's not enough that the fact that we're in over oversold territory according to our elastic level and our value chart. We've just entered into that phase and we've not seen any basing to the market. So the systems, no matter what, are always going to be those that we're going to watch the market and then react to it should it actually start to recover to liquidate the positions. And we certainly haven't seen signs of that. Now we could see signs tomorrow if there's an abrupt uh, rally in the market. But as of right now, we're still watching these uh, support levels that I just pointed out and the 50-day moving average to see as whether or not the market's able to, uh, to do any type of a sell-off. Now, the other thing I'm going to point out here if we uh, come back to the website is that uh, the uh, one, uh, cotton right now is in the top five uh, as far as accuracy of all the markets we track. So it's got uh, a nice seasonal tendency that you'd want to be looking at. And then when we take a look at the uh, the seasonal tendencies, this is the 10 year. And you can see that there's a bullish bias to the market, but you can see that there's a little bit of choppiness and we're at the low end right now. So I do expect to be able to liquidate the short positions here soon. We're just waiting for those systems to, to go through that particular process. Uh, and the, uh, the the seasonal tendencies will give us a feel for where the market's going, but we're not looking at it from day to day to uh, to make a decision whether or not the market's going to go higher or low. We're just simply looking at the general trend. So the general trend is choppiness with uh, closer into the end of or mid-February. That's when we'll see the next phase up. This according to the 10-year charts. On the five-year charts, we still have uh, a, ch a choppiness to the market, uh, but it is fairly straightforward all the way into uh, April, then a sideways consolidation, another surge here uh, in April. But in general, the choppiness is to the upside. So for those of you that are skittish and you're looking to, to take some profits, then you might want to very well take a look at an unwinding of the short positions. The systems are the systems, and they are going to react uh, when necessary. And as of right now, 
they're still uh, short the market, and we'll just have to uh, wait and see how things kind of play out here. So again, there's uh, Arcturus. It's 120 minutes, so it's one that uh, should be able to react to the market uh, fairly quickly if the market does rally. And Sirius is uh, another one. So one's a trend-based, one's a swing-based, but the key here is that they're 120-minute bar systems. So therefore, there's a, a strong opportunity for the market to uh, to really uh, be able to react and uh, be able to get out of positions if, in fact, it does rally. Uh, we have uh, a couple of gaps here in the uh, in the uh, support and resistance level. So the resistance gap right through here is between 78 and 79 and a third. And then we have a support gap, which is at 76.65 down to 75.37. So there's a bit of a gap in the in the uh, the movement here. So there is movement to be had. Uh, hopefully it's to the to the short side, but. Um, We'll just simply have to see and, and react to the market uh, and see how it actually does uh, sort of play out here. So until further, uh, what I would say is uh, continue to look at the deep dive, which we typically update twice a day because it's based on daily bars, just so you know, uh, that each of the alerts is applied to daily bars. So what we always do is obviously we'll do it uh, at the market close or thereabouts when I do the deep dive. And then uh, we'll also do one mid morning, you know, between 8 o'clock and maybe uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, just depending upon how things kind of play out. But uh, it's really the end of day, you know, after 4 p.m. that we really want to look at this. So we'll see as whether or not anything happens with cotton tomorrow, and that will be a telltale sign that we need to, uh, to do some and have some type of reaction for the, the discretionary guys that want to bail on their short positions. But uh, for the systems, we're just going to hold on to them. We do have, uh, you know, a fairly nice little profit going here so we have the, the flexibility uh, with the systems to be able to uh, look for the opportunity to turn these nice profits into much bigger profits should in fact the uh, the market sell off to that lower level and again that level if I can find it here would be this lower level right through here this uh, this uh, one that has a 50 base as far as the um, uh, the strength to it and that number again is 7541 not necessarily saying that it's going to go specifically to that level, but that is the, the next logical target, assuming that we can uh, uh, maintain and actually continue to break through these levels that I showed over here. So let's uh, see how this kind of plays out with cotton. If you have further questions, uh, I prefer if you guys email the, the questions. You just simply go to our contact on the, the website and just let me know uh, which markets you might be looking at. And then I'll try to address it as fast as I possibly can in doing the, the nightly deep dive. So thanks for watching. We'll look at another market tomorrow. Bye-bye.